Hi, welcome to Burning Bush World Ministries. My name is Latina Cates. Father God, let me say everything that you want me to say. Let me do everything that you want me to do. Father, I pray that this word falls on good ground and that the listeners would indeed be doers of your word and that they would make application to your word, not only for today, but for a lifetime in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Well, I declare that the kingdom of God is at hand. I said that the kingdom of God is at hand. That means God, who is our supreme authority, is in control. And all of his miracle working powers are in control. And as a member of the body of Christ, his miracle working powers, his authority, are available to you so that you can cast out demons, heal the sick, speak to storms, ascend to heaven, translate to other areas, and so much more. And I command, so that you can hear me much more better, I command every demonic spirit under the sound of my voice to shut up and submit to Father God's authority and to mine as an ambassador of the Most High God, in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Well, Kings, today I want to ask you a couple questions and then I'm going to answer those questions for you if I can. Are you satisfied with your relationship with the Lord? Do you think that you need more, maybe more power, more strength? If so, then I want to talk to you about your relationship with the Holy Ghost. He's also known as the Holy Spirit. So throughout this message, you may hear me use those terms interchangeably because they are interchangeably. We're just talking about the same person. Amen. The same spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost is the third part of the Godhead because there's God, the Father, God, the Son and God, the Holy Ghost. Jesus told his disciples to baptize in the name of the Father and in the name of the Son and in the name of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost was with God when he made mankind. Genesis 1, 26, 1 and 26 says, one, chapter 1, verse 26. And God said, let us make man in our image and in our likeness. So we know that the Holy Ghost was with Father God from the beginning, just as Lord Jesus was with Father God from the very beginning. The Holy Ghost has always been around. Even in the Old Testament, he would rest or sit upon a prophet, a king, and different men and women of God. And that's how they knew what to do. He would share information with them. He would give them instructions. They would prophesy through the Holy Ghost. Amen, amen, amen. He would only stay with them for a period of time and then he would leave. Mark 12, 36 speaks of King David being full of the Holy Ghost when he wrote Psalms 110 verse 1 which says, the Lord said unto my Lord, sit thou at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. Now, I'm sure the Holy Spirit was with him the whole time that he was writing that psalm. But the Bible specifically points out that scripture. So I wanted to point that out to you. Today, the Holy Ghost lives within the Christian believer. So he doesn't just sit upon us and leave. He lives within us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. First Corinthians 6 19 says, what know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which you have of God and ye are not your own. So see, he lives in us. We are the temple. We are the place where he resides. Hallelujah. 
The Holy Ghost is one of the powers that implements and supports the plan of Father God. The angels work with him. Amen. Amen. The Holy Ghost is, is he's omnipresent. He's with you at the same time when he's with me. Amen. Amen. He is gentle. He is kind. He is patient. He's not pushy. He's not easily provoked. Hallelujah. 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 And we thank God for that. Jesus introduced his disciples and us to the Holy Spirit in the New Testament. In John chapter 14, verse 16 and 17, Jesus said, And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he shall abide with you forever. Hallelujah. Verse 17 even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him. But ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. See, when Jesus left, the Holy Spirit came. And when he came, he stayed with the Christians. He decided to reside in side the Christian. Amen. When you receive Lord Jesus into your heart, the spirit of Father God comes in, the spirit of Lord Jesus comes in, and the spirit of the Holy Ghost comes in. Now, the disciples had to wait in Jerusalem for a while for the Holy Spirit to come. That tells me that all three of the Godhead may not come at the same time, but Surely as you receive Jesus Christ, he will come. Amen. 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 Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At Jesus's baptism, the Holy Spirit descended from heaven, landed upon him and stayed on him. So he was the first person that the Holy Spirit just stayed with. Amen. Amen. Kings, I am speaking to you about the Holy Spirit because Father God wants you to live your best life. He sent his son for that reason. Jesus said, I come that you may have life and that you may have it more abundantly. Amen. Amen. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the door. Jesus is the bread of life. Jesus is the living water. And he, Jesus points to the Holy Spirit for us to seek refuge, to seek comfort, to seek guidance with him when Jesus left the earth. Amen. 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 Hallelujah, Dad. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. The Holy Spirit the spirit of truth, he guides us. You may ask, well, Latina, how do I let the Holy Spirit lead me? I am so glad you asked. By reading your Bible, by meditating on the word. Meditating means to repeat, to mummer, to, and I want to say to memorize your word of God. And, and sometimes, you know, I've told you this before. I read Father God's word right back to him. OK, so you got to meditate on the word. You can't just read it like and just be done with it. You got to think about it. OK. Amen. Amen. There are scriptures that you need to declare, such as I am the head and not the tail. Above only and not beneath. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. My God shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory. You cannot repeat these scriptures and declare them if you don't know them. Amen. So you got to learn to meditate on his word. You got to think about it. Amen. 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 Also, you need to praise and worship the Lord. Sing to him. You may not be a singer. You don't have to be a singer. 
when you're praising and you're worshiping the Lord, you sound good. Amen. You sound good. I don't care what your voice sound like. And he stops to listen. He was like, wait a minute. My daughter's, my daughter's singing. My daughter is worshiping me. My son, the kings, women and men, they're worshiping me. Amen. And it gets his attention. Then what is equally as important, if not more important, is you got to sit, wait and listen for Father God, for the Holy Spirit. That's who's really speaking for the Holy Spirit to speak to you. He will speak to your mind. You will think that you're just thinking stuff. But every now and then, if you think about it, you get a thought and you'll say, where did that come from? Well, I can tell you where it came from. If it's good, it came from the Holy Ghost. If it's evil, it came from Lucifer. That's where they come from. So my point is this. If you sit and you wait and just slow down, the Lord will speak to you. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 See, Kings, you must have the word of God in your heart, in your head and in your mouth. You got to you got to speak God's word. I, I, I put out a couple of messages about words. Words have power. Regardless to whether the words are good or whether the words are bad, they have power. You have power in your mouth. You have to speak the right words. Words are containers that hold the future, that build the future. So, uh, I don't have time to go into that message, but I'm saying you have to have Father God's words in your mouth. OK, and it is imperative, imperative that you say what he says about you. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? See, that's a declaration that I make. So I don't have to fear because he got me. He got my back. He got my six. He got me. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 I want to encourage you also with the Holy Spirit. Speak in tongues. Yes, speak in tongues. Speaking in tongues is a heavenly language that was or is an actual language on the earth. But it is a foreign language to the individual who is speaking it. Okay. There is power that comes from speaking in tongues. The Bible says that we speak mysteries. Tongues is a language that is spoken specifically to God unless there's an interpreter present. Because you can have a word of tongues for a congregation or a group. But if it's not if there's no interpreter, that's between you and the Lord. Sometimes I'll be ministering and I saw it speaking in tongues. That's because, I, I, look, the Holy Spirit is speaking through me to the Lord about something. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. There is power with speaking in tongues. So ask the Lord to give you evidence of the Holy Ghost. And that evidence is speaking in tongues. Don't be afraid of it. Okay. Sometimes people are afraid of it. I was for many years. I would not release that. I would not release tongues because I didn't understand it. And then a preacher came to the church that I was attending and he was talking about the Holy Ghost and speaking in tongues. Well, I was so moved by that message that that day I went home and I prayed 
And I asked Father God, I says, Lord, if you want me to speak in tongues, then I want to speak in tongues. And I'm not going to be afraid. Well, Father God, he, he honored me. He gave me a word. I had one word of tongues. <laughs> one word. And I don't even know what that is to this day because that was many years ago. I had one word and I kept repeating that word and I kept repeating that word. And then it, it, it grew into two and three and five and then to many. Amen. And he's even blessed me to have the ability to speak in various tongues. Uh, some of them sound like they're Asian, Chinese, and, and, and some of them sound like they're uh, a different language. I don't know. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But my concern was I didn't want to be saying thing that was it saying anything that was offensive to my father. So I, I'm, that's why I was so afraid of it. And um, if you have that concern, if you can say, I love you, Jesus. And if you can praise the Lord and worship the Lord and, and speak in tongues, you are not saying anything offensive to Father God. Because, see, the adversary cannot stand praise and worship to Father God. Satan cannot stand when you honor Father God. So if you're honoring Father God and praising and worshiping him, and all of a sudden you start speaking in tongues, Lucifer, Satan, that old snake, the devil, he is going to flee. It's like hitting him in the head. It's like hitting him in the mouth. It's like hitting him in the stomach every time you praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So if you want to get Lucifer on the run, start praising the Lord. He'll get, to, he'll, he'll get away from you. He will flee. Amen. 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 The Holy Spirit seals the believer to the day of redemption. Amen. Hallelujah. So you, you want to get close to the Holy Spirit. You want to enhance your relationship with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. 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 God is so good. So with that said, are you ready to give your life to Christ Jesus and let the Holy Spirit lead you? If so, then I want to pray with you. If you want to rededicate your life to the Lord, I want to pray with you. Now, the first thing that we do is we ask for forgiveness. Why? Well, we ask for forgiveness because it is God's laws. It is God's commandments. It is God's ways of doing things that we have offended. OK. And when you ask for forgiveness, you confess your sins. Lord, I've done these things. I, I didn't mean to do them. I wasn't trying to offend you. I didn't mean to offend you. You 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 get rid of all the sin and the hindrances. When you ask for forgiveness, you get rid of all that. And it opens the lines of communication. Amen. So then Father God can hear you talking to him. Amen. 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 So with that said, let's first ask for forgiveness. And I like to raise my hands because I surrender to the Lord. Amen. Father God, I love you. Please forgive me for everything. Did I say repeat after me? Repeat that after me. Forgive me, Lord, for everything. And think about that for a minute. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Now, the second thing we do is we ask Lord Jesus to come into our lives. Amen. The Bible says that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, and that God raised and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. You shall be saved. So we're going to do that next and repeat after me. Lord God, I believe in your son, Lord Jesus, and that you raised him from the dead. Lord Jesus, come live in my life. Be Lord of my life. Make me more like you. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen.
Now, what I like to do is I like to take it a step further. And I like to ask the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, the one whose ministry is on the earth right now. Because see, Jesus left and went to heaven. And he, I believe he visits the earth. I know he visits the earth. But the Holy Spirit is here with us now. He is our constant companion. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm sure that sometimes uh, we get into things and he will probably say, why are we here? But he knows why we're here. Why are you there or whatever. Anyhow, my point is this. We want to ask him to come into our lives to lead us. So again, repeat after me. Father God, please send your Holy Spirit into my life and let me have evidence of his presence with speaking in tongues. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Well, kings, if you pray that simple prayer, now, now you are a member of the body of Christ. You are a king in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. 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 Um, God's power and authority are available to you. In my book, Messages from God, I, I have a chapter on the Holy Ghost of my encounters with him. I tell you how he revealed himself to me. Amen. Because in dreams, because I've, I've had encounters with him, personal encounters. And I also share how the Holy Ghost uh, reveals himself to mankind. But a lot of people don't recognize him. OK, uh, I gave you an example earlier. They'll have a thought and they'll wonder where it came from. That's one way. But there are other ways that he reveals himself to people all of the time. But people, they just, they just glance over it and go about their day and not even recognize him. So I talk about that very specifically here in my book. Um, you can find my book, Messages from God, Experiencing and Understanding the Supernatural on Amazon.com. Kings, I'm telling you, this should be a bestseller for anyone who is spiritual, for anyone who is a Christian, if you have dreams, visions, if you've translated, if you've encountered angels, you want this book because it tells you that you're normal. You're normal. And you may not have wanted to share those things with people because they might be like outside of the realm of some of the people that you're around. But I'm telling you, you will be blessed. Now, look, I'm not just trying to sell a book here. I am trying to help you. As far as making money off of books, I didn't know this, but authors, they only make two or three dollars off a book. Two or three dollars. That's all. You know, there's no big markup. You don't get a big bonus. There's no, no, not at all. So a lot of my life is in this book. And it will really, really help you. Amen, amen, amen. Well, my name is Latina Cates. I love you so very much. And I pray that you come back here and, and uh, let me share more of the word of God with you. I will help you. Also, go on YouTube, look up Latina Cates. You got it on the screen. And I have many messages out there. Get my messages. Review them. Not only review them, do them. Be a doer of the word. Amen? Amen. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. If this message has been a blessing to you, and you would like a copy of today's broadcast, visit our website at www.burningbushworldministries.org or write to us at Burning Bush World Ministries, P.O. Box 611-333, Port Huron, Michigan, 48061. Or you can write us via email at burningbushworldministries at gmail.com. 
You can find Latina Kate and Burning Bush World Ministries on Facebook. And you can follow Latina Kate on Twitter. Thank you so much for joining us, and we will see you next week.